Hey guys, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing fantastic. In my last video, I did a project using a specific junk mail envelope. And because my stash is growing, outgrowing its container, I thought today we could do another one. Stick around and check it out. So there are so many videos out there on using junk mail envelopes. Most of the ones that I've watched recently, though, have to do with taking advantage of the cool window. I'll show you a few examples. Um, this is an over the page set of pockets. Natasha treasure books. Showed me that. It's a double pocket. Two tags. Envelope. This is a tuck. Lily Guerrero. A pocket. Here and here in the tag is utilizing the window of the envelope. But there's a whole other part of the envelope to use. Who's screaming, please don't throw me in the bin. Don't throw me in the bin. I'm useful too. I have found that they make great pockets, especially if you make smaller journals like I do. So I thought I'd bring you along as I made a few. I've made a few already. So it's pocket, pocket. It's a nice little dangle. It's really cute. So let's uh, let's make some pockets. I have all my supplies out. Glue. Uh, scissors, ink, I have some scrap paper. I think we're good to go. Yeah, I need to use these envelopes up because I absolutely refuse to go to another storage container. So I think the size looks good. And the first thing that I'm going to do is close it up. And this is just art glitter. I don't know where you guys are, but here in Texas, it has been hot, hot, hot. Some scrap of the page. Let's see if I can find it. Big enough piece in here. I'm talking, we've had like 20 something days with temperatures over triple digits. Don't get me wrong, I, I love the heat. In fact, in the house, I actually go around with a jacket on because my husband thinks it's sub zero. But 100, that's a little high. I can deal with 90. Let's use some book page first. I mean, you don't even want to go outside. I think you literally could fry an egg on the ground. I had to go to the store yesterday. Oops. And I drive a black car with black interior. Man, that leather burns. When you sit your bum on it and your hands on the steering wheel. Yeah, let's just say not, not the most pleasant experience. So, it, I mean, it really makes you not want to go outside. So what part of that did I mess up? <laughs> let's make let's do it like I meant to do it that way what did I say 
there, her eyes are fixed. This is also a good way to get rid of scraps. And I like to put all kinds of, oh, obviously you can tell, I like to put all kinds of stuff on these pockets. Uh-oh, her breast. I guess I should read <laughs> what this says before I plop it on this page. Obviously, it's something with the... Not breasts in a bad way. So let's see, I'm gonna use glue stick for this. Should I zoom you in a bit? There you go, how's that? A little better maybe? bright. Let's play with the light a little bit. Okay. I don't use a glue book. I use old junk catalogs that I get in the mail. Yeah, since I began junk journaling, I don't throw anything away. My dog is on the is just waiting on the other side of the door like I'm gonna open it and let him in. <laughs> He's just standing up there. I hear a clippity clop of his claws on the hard wheel. So let's start with that and then see what else where else we can go. Layer it up a bit. music page. We had to put our other dog, Jack, down a few weeks ago. So, so hard. But you have to look at their quality of life. Am I keeping him alive for myself? Or, you know, is he miserable? A hard decision, absolutely, but the right thing to do. So we're back to a one dog, one cat family. Let's put some algebra on here. Everybody needs a little out. We'll get another dog. We'll get another cat. <laughs> this may sound cruel, but I think the cat will be the next to go. He's only been with us a little longer than the cat had. But cats live longer. And he was he was a baby. Hmm, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think? Decisions, decisions. I think if we use something to kind of cut the seam like that, it won't bother me so bad. And I didn't know when I started this video, so I've been talking for nine minutes.
And it's the music page. Mm -hmm. Like right there, let me think. always hear people talk about glue sticks and their favorite glue stick and I don't know this scotch glue stick isn't the least expensive glue stick out there and I had some others from when the kiddos were in school and I thought I would try those and trust me not all glue sticks are made the same and those did not stick as well as this does. I know a lot of people use, I don't know how you say it, Yoohoo, Yoohoo. What do y'all think about this? Putting this pocket on here. With these little labels. Maybe something different. This needs, I don't know what it needs. It definitely needs something. Let's see. I think it needs some kind of, oh look, they have this right in front of us. Some kind of something like this. colors or I can look here now and see. Hmm. All the different types of cancer. Which let's not talk about that. That's not something good to talk about while you're crafting. Little fabric. 
pieces. Lace pieces. Last week I dyed a whole bunch of paper and fabric and I went downstairs to make dinner last night, which in itself is a, you know, an amazing thing. And I turned on the oven and I opened the oven to see if there was anything in the oven. And on a pizza pan, was all this tool, lace, and some fabric that I had obviously forgotten about. I'm glad no one turned the oven on. That would have required someone to cook something. <laughs> we don't do a lot of that in this family. Okay, so we have this guy. We have this guy, and to be honest, oh, I like this guy better. So we'll glue him down. I'm gonna put a label or something over here. And we have lots of those to choose from. So we can use a Tracy label. Or I did this really cool thing else with some of this dyed fabric. I stamped and made little fabric labels, which I think are so cute. But if I put it on here, is that too much fabric? They're adorable. Well, I think they are. I'm biased. I made them. Love. I, if I do, I want a different fabric than that. I'll try to pull the exact same one. Maybe let's have some hope. Or hope versus some label in here, which I would prefer to be black. Maybe that's better. Okay. Mix it up a bit, right? It's too big. This one. Oh, I like that one. That's it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now see what it is I'm doing. Oh. I need to get closer. Maybe we do need a little more light. You guys tell me. Are y'all having a hard time seeing? So I talked to one of my friends this morning that I haven't talked to in a long time. And that was nice. Kind of caught up. On things. I'm like the messiest crafter. 
I try to be so organized. I spend all this time organizing my supplies, such as sorting the junk mail envelopes by size and type. But when it gets right down to doing it, I am so messy. So that, that's the finished part. What do you think? Of course, I don't have a tag around here to fit in here. Because that's just how I roll. Here's a little tag. See, that would be cute on the page. I want to see what it would look like. So this is the latest journal that I made. Here was the, this is the junk mail envelope from my last video. So we have one of those rings and every time someone walks in front of the house or the front door, it goes off. And somehow, on my watch, it now informs me via sound. With a little beam. Actually, this is another example. This is an envelope. S sewn into a signature. I have two. And instead of cutting the top, or the side, I'm just using this part that came unglued when I tea dyed it. For a journaling card. Isn't that cute? Okay. Off subject, off task, off task. So this is what it would look like. This is how I would most likely use it in a journal. But it might be small enough to go in one of these smaller journals. See? So you could put it in pretty much any, well, unless you make one of those tiny, tiny ones. They're good for lots. Number two. In my mess, I have lost the envelopes. I found them under all this stuff. This mess that I've made. Okay, which one are we going to use now? Are you talking to me? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. This one was a pretty big one. Let's use... this one. What we could use? Decisions, decisions. Let's make one of these. It's little. Thinner and shorter. Is this one? Oh, this is one too. Well, let's do this one. Now, I could keep it open and use it as a tuck spot, or I could close it up and use it as a pocket. What do you think? Let's be different. Let's do a tuck spot. Okay, let's see. Let's check out the paper situation. This is my bag of itty bitty, not itty bitty, but smaller pattern paper script. I like that.
Now, excuse my head while I reach for a pencil. I am gonna mark. I'm not gonna try to cut this with my ruler. History has shown that I'm not really great at that. Considering getting a new paper trimmer, I have two fissures. God, the cut just isn't straight all the time, and I do not like that. Okay, let's see if I can keep from this tumbling all over the floor. Definitely needs green. What, what? Put the lid back on that. Oh, I could use that. It doesn't. See? Half green, it doesn't even match. Let's see. Some kind of. Some kind of something. Yeah, right? Duh. Obviously, some kind of something. Hmm. Think. Thank you, Angela. Let's see. Maybe. No, we always have our go-tos. Flowers, butterflies. Does it match? Not the right color green. Yeah, one of the best things that I've done is on those days where I don't really feel that creative I will do a whole bunch of die cuts or like when I stamped all the fabric okay that matches okay I'm kind of digging that but it really couldn't be that simple could it I like the simplicity. Maybe this in a little label. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Crazy. Let's glue it on. We're on a roll. We can't stop now. Let's make one more. I'm talking as if we finished this one and we haven't even finished this one. You know what I do have are some other labels that I stamped that might actually have green on there. Let's see. Something like 
this for example. Not that one, but something like that. Maybe cut down and inked up. So this is what I'm looking through. So this is, and that was one, another one of those projects where I just spent time stamping. Now of these two greens, I like this green better. So I'm gonna mix the other. I don't know. So far, that one is not that we've had a lot to choose from. The sluggage one is just too big. Too big. And we looked at this one already, eh? Okay. I don't know, but I like that one. Okay, winner. Winner, winner of a second chicken dinner. Next question. Do we need to give it something to... Yeah, I think he needs a little something back there to sit on. So, let's see, where would that be? We can have... Let's see, let's see what our options are. Sorry, I'm backing away from the microphone. Okay. I found some options here. We can do a little cheese claw. Let's bring our tubbo scraps up here. So we could do something like oh, too much cream. <laughs> that would be over the top. Ways. With the number on it after I ink it up, maybe. Let's see. We won't have time to do another one because I can't figure out what, how to finish this one. That would be so typical. Typical Angela. No, oh, don't like that. Not doing it for me. Nope, I'm thinking I want either a little tool as I drop it on the floor. Or Give it a little dimension. I don't know that I need so much dimension. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Okay. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this one. And some tweezers. Participate. Play along. What do you 
think about that. Is it, no, this is a tuck, it's not a pocket. It might be a little much, but if I change my mind, which is my prerogative, right? I can take it off or cut some of it down. That's cute. Okay, shall we make a third and final one? We've only been on 30 minutes. Probably tired of hearing my voice by now. But yeah, let's let's do this one. And I think on this one we're gonna do just like something totally different than the others like a whole bunch of different pieces of paper. That's what I'm feeling. That's what's coming to me. So before you think that I've gone absolutely mad, yes, these are little squares of paper, and yes, they are organized by color in here. I received, I don't know, a few years ago, a gift of um, a big mason jar and a whole bunch of these little squares. And you know the deal. You write something on each square for the day. You, you know, fold it up and you put it in the jar. And then how many ever years later you go back and read all about whatever you wrote. Well, you can see that uh, I didn't get very far with that. But the paper has come in handy for stuff like this. So let's do this. I am a journaler. I think that journaling is awesome for the soul. Funny enough, I don't journal in my own junk journals. But I do in other journals. the store-bought kind. Now what would go with that? Would that go with that? At this point in time, I'm not really even sure I care. I just want it to look a little different than book page. Because I do a lot with book page. Actually, I like this. I'm a bigger piece because I'm going to end up not having much of that left. Every day. And if you think, oh, I don't have time to journal, you do have time to, I don't know, write down three things you're grateful for each day. Do that, change your life. I have no idea what I'm doing with this, guys. I have no idea what it's going to look like. 
I have no idea. You know what? I have no idea. But, it doesn't really matter. That's the fun of this. It doesn't really matter. It's paper. And this paper would have gone in the trash anyway. I'm saving it. And it's grateful. If it kept a gratitude journal, it would write that it was grateful that I saved it from the coming. that has some kind of similar color. This does. Check it out. Universe on our side. Let's tear a little bit more. It's hard to tear tiny little pieces off. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to do. Let's, or maybe, let's finish this one really fast. See if we have time to do this other one. I'm talking for 41 minutes. If you're still here, thank you. I appreciate it. I really do. Okay. So. On these odd... little sections. I thought we could put some tiny, tiny little book page. I don't like that. This one's going to be very eclectic. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you could tell my mind's a churning. Pickaxe? I don't want pickaxe on there. Maybe pick. I'm trying to hurry because I want to do this other one. Just one tiny, tiny, tiny little strip of something or other. Could be this. And now here is the edge of an envelope serving a very important purpose. Holding tiny pieces of paper. <laughs> I, it's crazy how we can't throw anything away. You never know. I might use that. And then it turns out you do use it. Which just... Proves your point. Okay, on here. Let's put a big old piece of. Okay, not a big old piece, but. Oh! Let's bring this back up here. 
because I have some of these like this that will just look could do that and put a butterfly. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm feeling that. Is that too big? because we can put a butterfly on there. And you know what would be cute? Hold on just a sec. strings hanging out. And let's go to our butterfly. I forget that I zoomed all in. Probably haven't been able to see half of what I'm doing. Nope, smaller, colorful. Maybe it's something that has that. one where you can actually notice that. Oh, but I have an idea. A bound line, a bound line. That's even how you say that. And of course, I won't be able to find what I'm looking for. Because it always works that way. I found one of them. Not the one I wanted though. And I have to give a board back. A board. That mission, he's in the wrong home. Stories. I have to find your way back home, guys. I was looking for something to set this guy on. I don't want to use cheesecloth again. And I had the perfect. Excuse me, did you see my head?
you know, I think it needs a word or something. Let's see, word. Just a word. Go to the word stash. See what I mean about being a messy crafter? I have stuff everywhere. Okay, it's so a butterfly. Maybe magical. Don't have a magical that's vibrant. Treasure. Mm, magical. We're sticking with magical. Executive decision. Cutting it down. Don't want to use this. Ink it up. There's that. So, you know what, guys? It's, I've been gabbing for almost an hour. So that'll be the last one. But let me scoot some of this out of the way. And let's look at the ones we did make. We made this one. The cute butterfly. It's just a pocket that you can glue down on your page. We made this one. We didn't ink around this one. Let's do that real fast. Time out. Okay. We made this one. Just a flower label, kind of plain Jane. And we made this one. Very simple, but cute, yeah? Tuck. So if you're a keeper of junk mail envelopes like I am, this is a great way to get rid of some of them. If you enjoyed this, like what you saw, want to hang out some more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.